Today, grade 9, I'm Ma'am Angeles, your math teacher, and will always be available in guiding you in answering your module. Let's continue your quarter 1 for week 1 about quadratic equation. Solving by completing the square. Before we use this method for solving quadratic equation, let us recall that if expression ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is a perfect square trinomial, then it can be factored out into two identical binomial factors. For example, x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to, okay, dalawang x plus 2. Kasi pag pinag-multiply natin class yung x times x, makuha natin yung quadratic term na x squared. Add 2x plus 2x, makuha natin yung linear term na 4x. Then multiply 2 times 2, that is positive 4, yung ating constant term. Also equivalent yan sa x plus 2 squared. Then for number 2, x squared minus 10x plus 25 is equals to x minus 5 multiplied by x minus 5. Same, x times x, x squared. Negative 5 plus negative 5x, makuha natin yung negative 10x. Then multiply negative 5 times negative 5, makuha natin positive 25. Also equivalent to x minus 5 squared. Then number 3, 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 is equals to 2x plus 3 multiply to 2x plus 3. Multiply natin yung 2x times 2x, makuha natin yung 4x squared. Using Paul method, kapag multiply natin yung 2x times 3, makuha natin 6x. 3 times 2x, 6x din. So add 6x plus 6x, makuha natin yung linear term na 12x. Then if we multiply positive 3, multiply to positive 3, that is positive 9. Okay, also equivalent to 2x plus 3 squared. So, yun yung ating binomial factors na mga perfect squared trinomial. Then, what if the expression in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is not a perfect squared trinomial? Follow the simple steps to complete the square for ax squared plus bx plus blank. Completing the square makes sense for its solution. Follow the set of procedures used in completing the square. So, for example, ang kukompletuhin natin yung x squared minus 8x plus blank. Okay, we're going to get the value of the constant term kasi yun ang nawawala eh. Okay, so first, take the half of the numerical coefficient of the linear term or b. So, yung coefficient natin plus, yung linear term natin nasa gitna yung negative 8x. So, kunin daw natin yung kalahati nung 8. So, that is equals to 4. Then, square the value you obtain. So, since ang nakuha natin na is 4, kunin natin yung squared niya. So, that is equivalent to 4 times 4, kaya naging 16. So, since nakuha natin yung 16, pwede na natin yung i-add dun sa expression natin. Na x squared minus 8x plus, yung idadagdag natin is 16. So, ganun yung pagkuha. For example, find the value of c to complete the square for x squared minus 12x plus c. So, yung solution natin, yung ating nasa gitna, yung linear term natin, o yung coefficient ng x is negative 12. So, yun ang kunin natin, kalahati ng 12. So, that is 6. Okay, then, square it. So, nakuha natin yung 6 squared natin. 6 times 6, that is 36. Okay, so yun yung value ng C natin, 36. So, i-add natin yung sa expression. The expression will become x squared minus 12x plus 36. Okay, congratulations. You completed the square. Next, number 2. Solve x squared minus 12x plus 35 is equal to 0 by completing the square. So, ang hinahanap natin yung C, ba? So, aalisin muna natin to class by applying the addition property of equality by adding negative 35 to both sides para ma-cancel out natin. So, yung magiging x squared minus 12x plus 35 plus negative 35 is equal to 0 plus negative 35. So, cancel natin yung 
positive 35 saka yung negative 35. So, may iwan na lang sa left side is x squared minus 12x. Then, 0 plus negative 35, that is equivalent to negative 35. Step 2, make x squared minus 12x a perfect square trinomial by completing the square. Okay, so, we add 36 sa natin nakuha yun. Tingnan niya yung negative 12. Yun yung ating coefficient of x. So, kunin natin yung coefficient ng x natin. That is 12. Kunin yung kalahati. 6. Tapos, squared natin. So, 6 times 6, 36. Kaya, nag-add tayo ng 36 sa both sides. Okay. So, magiging x squared minus 12x plus 36 is equals to negative 35 plus 36 since unlike sign, subtract natin, sundan yung sign na mas malaking number, kaya naging positive 1. Then, factor the perfect square trinomial. So, yung x squared minus 12x plus 36, yung factor natin is x minus 6 multiplied to x minus 6. Kalahati na negative 12, tapos yung number na pares sa pag-multiply natin, 36 yung kalalabasan. ba? Kasi x times x, x squared, negative 6 Plus negative 6x, makakuha natin yung negative 12x. Negative 6 times negative 6, positive 36. Okay, then, express x minus 6 multiplied by x minus 6 as a square of binomial. So, that is x minus 6 squared is equals to 1. Then, use square root property. Kinuha natin yung square root ng both sides. So, pag kinuha natin yung square root ng both sides niyan, we can cancel yung radical sign sa kayong square na 2. So, may iwan na lang is x minus 6 square root ng 1 is positive or negative 1. Okay, step number 5. Let's solve. Yung x minus 6 equals to 1. Saka x minus 6 equals to negative 1. Okay, so pag transpose natin yung negative 6 sa kabila magiging from negative magiging positive so magiging 1 plus 6 equals to 7 isa naman negative 1 plus 6 unlike sign subtract sundan yung sign na, sign na mas malaking number kaya positive 5 or we can use the addition property of equality by adding 6 both side of the equation so we can cancel 6 my e1 is x 1 plus 6 is 7 dito naman x equals to negative 1 plus 6 is 5 so para sa naman yung sagot Therefore, the roots of solution are 7 and 5. Okay, for number 3, find the roots of x squared plus 4x minus 8 is equal to 0. Okay, so we apply addition property of equality by adding 8 to both sides. Kaya naging x squared plus 4x minus 8 plus 8 is equal to 0 plus 8. Okay, we can cancel now yung negative 8 and plus 8. So my iwan na lang is x squared plus 4x equals to 8. Okay, make x squared plus 4x a perfect square trinomial by completing the square. Okay, so yung ating coefficient ng x yung nasa gitna is 4. So, kunin natin yung kalahati ng 4, that is 2. Square natin yung 2. 2 times 2 is 4, kaya nag-add tayo ng 4 sa both sides of the equation. So, the equation will become x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equals to 8 plus 4. Okay, we bring down lang yung x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equals to 8 plus 4, that is 12. Then, express the perfect square trinomial as a square of binomial. So, that is equals to x plus 2. x plus x kasi class, diba? x times x, x squared. 2x plus 2x, yung ating linear term na 4x. Then, 2 times 2, that is the, the constant term na 4. Then, bring down equals 12. Okay, then, we use square root property, get the square root of both sides. So, we can cancel yung radical sign sa kayong square. So, my e1 is x plus 2. Okay, yung positive or negative square root of 12, since walang exact square root yung 12, pinactor natin. Ano yung factor ng 12? Sa so, pinuha natin yung 4 times 3. Okay, so yung... Kaya naman naging 2 square root of 3 yun. Ano yung square root ng 4? Diba 2? So, nilabas natin na iwan sa loob ng radical sign yung walang square root which is 3. So, we bring down yung x plus 2 is equals to positive or negative 2 square root of 3. Okay, kukunin natin yung dalawang roots nyo or dalawang value. Kapag positive sa ka negative, kaya naging if we simplify to find the solution, magiging x equals to 2 
plus 2 square root of 3 and x equals to 2 minus 2 square root of 3. Okay, therefore, the roots are x equals to 2 plus 2 square root of 3 and x equals to 2 minus 2 square root of 3. Now, let's practice what you learned. Go to page 8 of your module and answer activity 1.4 you complete me. Okay, that's all.